Hello, everybody. My name is Diane Barger. And I'm Denise Ganey, and together we are the Amakitia Duo. Joining us today for this brief chat before you see our performance video are two wonderful friends of ours, Mark Clinton, our pianist for this performance, and Scott McAllister, the composer of the Amakitia Suite. We've put together a 15 minute video for you to enjoy featuring a special piece that was written for the Amakitia duo in 2017. In addition to our performance, you'll see some wonderful photos that give further meaning behind this wonderful music. We'd like to take a few minutes, minutes to share some history about this piece. So over time, Denise and I found that we had a particular love for works for E-flat clarinet and B-flat clarinet. And since there were only a few pieces in the repertoire that we could play in our duo with that particular combination of clarinets, we decided to form a mission to commission some new works for that combination. The first composer we thought of was our friend Scott McAllister. Scott was enthusiastic when we approached him to write a piece for us back in November of 2016. Scott, can you talk about your creation of the Amakitia Suite? Thank you. Uh, I, I tell you, this was one of the most meaningful uh, compositions I've ever had the pleasure to write. And it's because of our friendships, but really, especially because of your friendships with each other. And during that time, I've been following you uh, as being one of your friends, but many, many, many Facebook postings about your get togethers, um, but also the, some tragic things in lives in your lives as well at the same time. So it's really a piece about uh, love and loss and, and survival and, um, and the way both of you handle that in your own way and also both together, uh, especially with the loss of both of your mothers. And uh, that really the piece wrote itself. And, and once I collaborated with the two of you and got a few ideas of, of of, of what was what you know other than Facebook and things like that. It's like ask you what what other things about your mothers that inspired you and and that just musically things came along very quickly. Like uh, 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 Denise, your your mother's movements, heavy D that uh, starts with a really low low D, as you can hear, and uh, and it's kind of structured on that that those those pitches and and uh, and uh, play pretty. It's something that uh, Diane's mother always said to her, always before she went on stage. And, and I got some inspiration from, from you. And that was the last one I wrote because it was the hardest in a way. And, uh, but when you mentioned uh, her favorite tune was uh, Going Home that Dvorak used in the New World Symphony, it, I think I wrote it that night. And you did, that's what amazed me. Literally the next morning, it was in my email box, that movement. Well, it was just such wonderful inspiration, I mean, so like I said, I wrote itself, and then I had to put, um, you know, a, a, the quirky schizo scherzo second movement where the E flat, because when I was at Florida State with, with you, I remember we had, were in uh, uh, your last year was my first year, but I remember being an excerpt class uh, with Frank Kowalski and all those excerpts going everywhere. And it's just fun imagining the, the E flat clarinet, the B flat clarinet fighting over excerpts and, and stealing each other's excerpts, but in a fun way. And then the, the, the last movement, the BFF movement, is just the, the Thelma and Louise kind of movement. <laughs> you know, we're best, friends, best friends forever going off a cliff. <laughs> but in a, in a fun way. And uh, so, seriously, one of the most heartwarming uh, endeavors I've ever had. And thank you so much. Well, it's certainly, you know, a special piece for us. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's always a challenge. Denise and I sometimes don't even look at each other because we know if we look at each other a certain way, we're going to have tears coming down our face, you know. Um, but it's it's such a special piece to play um, and a fun piece to play um, and a challenging piece to play. <laughs> it's so it's <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but it's, it's just a delight and to have been able to collaborate with you and to, you know, perform this with our dear friend, Mark. Um, it's, it, it was just, it was, it's great. And we love it every time we play it. I can think of a better collaborator than Mark as well. I mean, just all the stuff we've done together. What a great musician you are, Mark. It's, well, thank you. It's been a lot, actually. And, you know, maybe that this is the time I, I, I would like to say, you know, as sort of a, a newcomer to this party, um, I, you know, I've known Diane now for only about 26 years. <laughs> um, and, 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 you know, this piece, 
uh, as, as Scott so eloquently uh, explained, you know, is, is, is so uh, about love and loss and, and, and friendship and rebirth and, and all these wonderful things that you have so beautifully infused the music with, Scott. Um, it was a real pleasure to be a part of the, the, the project, uh, quite frankly, um, and, and to, to, to be able to do the world premiere recording and, and stuff. And also, you know, that, thinking back to the, the fact that, you know, this is basically about friendship in terms of the Evakitia duo, but I think for me the piece really has an even deeper meaning in terms of, of, of friendship in general, because, you know, this symbolizes my friendship with, with Diane in a way. I, I did this because of that. I, I met Denise because of, 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 of that friendship. And I, I met you, Scott, because of that. So it's just a fabulous piece. And yes, it's it's pretty darn hard, <laughs> particularly that schizo scared so. I mean, could you have made it any more difficult for the piano? <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew who I was writing for, so I was worried at all. Oh, yeah, flattery will get you nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I've never gotten to play a piece that had so much personal meaning to me before. Um, and it's just, it's a priceless gift because no matter how many times we play it, when Diane and I, and, and especially when we get to sit down with Mark to play this piece, there's just always that connection and those memories that are so ingrained in us. And it brings tears, it brings laughter. It just, it never gets old. It's I honestly, my favorite pieces in the world to play. So thank you for that gift. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. It feels so good. Um, Diane, could you tell the, the story, you mentioning, you know, the, the special times that we've had playing this piece. One of my favorite musical moments, like of all time, believe it or not, uh, was what we did with the first piece when we were recording. You want to tell that one, Diane, because that is so um, special. Yeah. Um, so, and and what you're going to hear is, is, um, is from our CD. Um, because we couldn't get together live to to record this for clarinet fest this summer um and it happened to be um the our last morning um mm -hmm. we had tried we had tried it at the end of the day before and we were just too tired and and we said ah oh, let's just do it tomorrow and so we warmed up a little bit and uh and we just and we went for it and we finished and we had the ambience of the hall, you know, having some silence. And I, I looked at everybody and I said, I think that might be it. And I went backstage uh, to the recording engineer and put on the headphones and listened to it. And I just burst into tears. Um, and then Mark and Denise went back and listened to it. And, you know, my mother was on that stage that morning. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, we felt her presence and we we thought, hey, you know, maybe it could get a little bit better, but but we're not going to mess with it. <laughs> so, yeah. Very special. Yeah. Denise, you want to talk about the significance of Heavy D, what that sure. nickname? <laughs> well, my mother's from the mountains of Tennessee, Dorothy Williams. And when we moved her to Birmingham and she got older, my brother passed away and, and um, she was, I believe, 86 at the time. And we were worried about her living by herself down in Florida. So we brought her up to Birmingham, Alabama. And our dear friends, Wayne and John, who pretty much became mo like mom's sons to her, her best friends here in town, decided that she needed a hood name. Oh. She was moving to the big city. So they decided to call her Heavy D. Well, she loved it and it ended up sticking. I started writing a blog about my mom and her last couple of years of life. And um, she became heavy, heavy D at the home for wayward seniors. And she just loved all of the attention that she got. And um, that just has stuck as her nickname now. People still ask, you know, about to hear stories about heavy D. So it just made it extra special to have that movement named after her. Loved it. <laughs> she would have loved it. Oh, yeah. yeah, for sure. Well, Scott, we thank you so much for, you know, every time we play this, we, we, praise your name up and down and are just so grateful for your friendship and for you being able to capture in music our friendship and um, what our mothers mean to us to this very day. And it's just so special. And I, I, I wish everybody had that in their lives, a piece like this yeah. that means so very much. I was so honored. I, I don't think it's my piece. I feel like it's your mom's piece, your mother's piece. I mean, both of you, it's, it's, I was just a curator, you know, to put this together and, and all of our friendships. It's a really wonderful collaboration that uh, just it would be very special for us in my life as well. 
Thank you so much. Oh. Well, yeah. and so we're going to wrap up. We hope you guys enjoy this piece and enjoy the pictures that Denise and I have collected over the years and a couple other little surprises that you might see in the video. And um, we hope you enjoy the performance. Thank you, everybody. Yes, thanks so much. Right. Thanks. Bye.
Thank mm-hmm. you.